Hi, I'm Joy and this is Yoga with Joy. So this practice is all about the chakra Svadhisthana. So this one wearing orange, which is the colour of this chakra. Um, or sometimes that's symbolism. And so this chakra is all about water, flowing, creativity. So it's this area here, so the sacrum at the back and the bladder and lower abdominal muscles here at the front and the reproductive system. So, yeah, it's just all about creativity and fluidity and flowing and going with the flow and sexuality and sensuality and all those lovely things. So it's a, the place of our emotions. One's own abode is the, the name of this place. It's Svadhisthana translates as. And one's own abode is the place of our belonging. <laughs> and yeah, so I use a blanket to sit on or a cushion to sit on. Um, if you know that you often need blocks or anything, then grab them. But that's about it, really. It's quite a flowing practice, this one. So just go with the flow. See you in a moment. <laughs> So finding yourself in a comfortable seated position, maybe using a cushion or a blanket underneath you if you're in cross-legged. And we'll start by finding our mudra for this chakra, for Svadhisthana. So placing one hand on top of each other with the palms facing up and then touching your thumbs together. So the hands can slightly twist so that the palms are facing behind you a little bit. Just resting them on your, your lap or on your feet, depending on how you're sitting. And then gently closing your eyes. So focusing on this chakra, the sacral chakra, linked to the sacrum area and your bladder, your reproductive area. So for a woman that would be your womb. And engage the ujjayi breath if you know it, the throaty breath. Slightly constrict in the back of the throat. And taking deep breaths, focusing on the Svadhisthana area, the energy center. And this is a place of our creativity linked with water. fluidity, sexuality, feeling of flowing, our place where our emotions rest. Really tune in to how you're feeling right now, today. Connect with this feminine energy, the water. And we'll begin the mantra for this chakra, for Svadhisthana. And the mantra is Vam. So we'll 
Chant it three times together. Va. Gently opening your eyes, releasing your mudra and anything you might have been sitting on, and finding yourself on your backs to begin the practice, the moving practice, with your feet and your knees hip width apart, the knees facing the sky and the feet rooted on the earth and gently spread out your arms so that they're shoulder width and then slightly lower, like maybe an inch lower than the shoulders. And we'll begin by flowing the knees over to the left and the head over to the right. Inhale up and exhale over, knees over to the right and head over to the left. Inhale up. Feeling that beautiful fluidity with the movement. Inhaling up. Exhale. Beautiful flowing gentle movements. This chakra is also known as one's own abode. It's beautiful, isn't it? One's own abode. So the place where you reside here So we all come from the womb, and even if you're a man, there's still an area that links to your mother's womb. So it's where we were all born from. Inhaling up, that's lovely. Then bring the hands down by the side, and gently bring in the pelvic tilt. So exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up, you'll be lifting pelvic floor on the exhale, inhale down, so you're bringing the navel back towards the spine, so pressing the lumbar spine, your lordosis in the back of, onto the mat, pressing your back to the mat. And then we'll start to come up to the rib cage, so exhaling up, bring yourself up here to the ribs. Breath in now and then exhale back down. So using the exhale for the movement. Breath in, exhale up, just to your rib cage. So just this area here. Inhale, exhale down. If you have any blocks or anything between your knees or a soft ball, that can be really helpful to keep your knees to, so that they stay hip width apart. Gentle flowing. Just up to your ribs. And exhaling back down and bringing the knees into the chest and having a little rock from side to side. And then bring the hands onto the knees 
and exhaling, opening up. Sorry, inhaling, opening up your knees and exhaling, bringing them together and in towards your chest. Exhale, opening up your knees. So your hips are opening up as you bring your knees out and then they're closing as you bring your knees together. Exhaling the knees into you. And then the other way. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. So you're bringing them in circles. So they're moving away from you and then towards you. And then bring your knees in towards you and your chest. And then exhaling the feet back down so that the knees are facing the ceiling again, the sky. And we're going to see how it goes if we can... Um, this is challenging for me, this one. We're going to see how it goes if we gently come up into curls. So it's this area here that we're focusing on. Exhale, lifting up pelvic floor and your belly, abdominal muscles. Careful of your neck, making sure that you're looking after your neck. Inhale back down, roll onto your side, and then gently making your way up to seated. And then coming into cross-legged or kneeling if you wish. And again, you can use a blanket or cushion underneath if you want to. So we're going to bring in our seated cat. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, feeling this area moving fluidly, connecting to your creativity, sensuality, feeling of going with the flow. There's no need to try and manipulate and control, micromanage life. If we swim with the tide, everything's just that much easier. <laughs> Inhaling forward, exhaling back. And then gently bring yourself back to seated. Then bringing the hands to the heart. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, flowing behind. Opening up the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, opening up the chest. Exhale on the movement. Inhale, up. Exhale. Stretching and opening up. And then bring the hands down. And then over to the side. Inhale, up. And then over to the other side, feeling this flowing, wonderful movement. Exhale. 
and then bring yourself round so you're coming in a forward fold gently walking the hands around and then bring yourself back up and then over to the other side in the C shape and then walking the hands in front And then gently bring yourself back up, stretching up prana mudra, hands overhead and down to the heart. Lovely. And then turning the knees over and coming onto your knees with your hands below your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Take a moment to notice and engage with your whole spine. So your shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. Your spine is running right from your tail through your sacrum and up the lumbar spine, all those big vertebrae. And then the middle spine, your thoracic, and up into your cervical spine. That's your neck, and feeling the energy coming through your head and up to the crown of your head. And then start to flow and move the body freestyle any way you feel like moving it with a special focus on your sacrum area you might wish to tilt your pelvis and those lower abdominal muscles gentle movements Feeling this wonderful, gentle movement of the body. So the only guideline is your knees and your hands are on the mat. Other than that, you can move any way you wish. Enjoy moving your spine however you wish to move it <laughs> however it wants to be moved <laughs> and then inhaling looking up and then exhale gently moving back down into child and resting for a moment in child A few deep breaths. And then bring the hands up to the heart center and coming on to kneeling. And then lifting up. And exhale back into child. <sighs> Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, turning the toes round. Hovering here, engaging your tummy muscles, nice and strong. And then exhale back, half dog. So you're bent, you've got bent knees. Lifting up on tiptoes into an acute dog. And then exhaling down and walking out your downward facing dog.
Inhale. Upward facing cat. Exhale back into child. Inhale, bring yourself through. So you're coming into cobra. The hands are by your shoulders, the elbows in at your side. Inhale up, cobra. So it might be low cobra like this or higher cobra. Exhale down. Really focusing on your sacrum, your lower back. Inhale up. Exhale down. When you do this, if it feels comfortable on your lower back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Remember, you could be really much lower than this if you need to be. Or if you need to be in a restorative, you could be in Sphinx. Turning the toes round. Back onto the knees. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, moving away from your feet a little bit. Exhale, coming back towards your feet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, back into child. Inhale, stretching up. Lifting up in this extended diamond. Exhale, back, hands back to heart. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down into child. Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, child. Inhale through into Cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Breath in. And then exhale, back into downward dog. Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, back into child. Feeling this flowing, this fluidity. Inhale, bringing your arms up. Stretching up while kneeling. Exhale, back with your hands back at the heart center in kneeling. Fantastic. And take a moment connecting to that feeling of breath and flowing and water. And just feeling yourself moving with the breath. Your body moving and swaying, connecting to yourself, connecting to your place of creativity, sensuality. Have a slight gentle rocking. And then bring yourself forward into the cat. And then bring your 
right leg back and gently rock back on your toes. And bring your right foot forward. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. So your foot is on the outside of your hands. Exhale, stretching out your hamstrings. Inhale, stretching out your hip. And then gently lifting the back leg up. So you're coming into the lunge. And if you can, have your knee down here if you wish. Inhale. Exhale, straightening the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you're really focusing on this area. So your sacrum, bladder, lower rib, um, lower belly area. Lovely. That's great. And then gently bringing the back leg to meet the front leg so that you're in Tadasana, focusing forward. And deep breaths with hands at the heart. And still in Tadasana, you may be moving on your mat or staying where you are. Bringing the hands to the hips. Inhale, lift up the right leg, planting the left leg. Exhale, open. Then bring the bag, um, knee back. Exhale, open. Inhale, back. Exhale. Inhale, back. So finding a drishti, your eye gaze, focusing somewhere on the mat or in front of you. And then placing down your right leg, planting your right leg, lifting up your left. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I think I've done it different on either side with my breaths. So however you're breathing, you're doing wonderfully. <laughs> I just realized I've done them differently. That's fine. So going with the flow. And then bringing your legs down. Fantastic. And coming to the front of the mat if you're not already. Hands to the heart. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, Uttanasana. So you're folding forward. Inhale, lifting up, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Exhale, fold forward. And now we're bringing back the right leg. So we're coming into the lunge. Feeling yourself nice and strong. Hands at the, on the hips. Inhale, straightening the leg. Exhale forward. Feeling strong in your belly. So really this is, it's about this area. So it's your sacrum, bladder, lower belly. Colour orange, it was wonderful orange colour here. And 
then gently lowering your right knee down, bringing your foot out towards the edge of your hands. Inhale forward, exhale back. So we're going backwards on what we did before. Forward, exhale. Feel this beautiful flow. Inhale forward and then bring your leg behind, so your left leg behind, and meeting your right leg, placing your hands underneath your shoulders, and then take out the left back leg and just rock back here. And bringing your knees to meet your left knee to meet the right knee and coming back on to, to kneeling with the hands at the heart. And taking a moment of stillness, your hands at the heart. And then finding yourself back into your seated position. So you might wish to use blanket or a cushion underneath. And finding your mudra again. So one hand on the other, the backs of the hands down and touching your thumbs together. Eyes closed. And bring your focus to sacral area again. Svadhisthana. Feeling this flowing these flowing movements we've been doing with the breath, feeling that flow in you, all the water in your body. Spinal fluid and blood. The water which we consume and process. Mm. And feeling this wonderful flowing where we really can do whatever we want to do. We're really able just to see how things take us and see how we feel about them and just make decisions based on where the water takes us. We'll close today with the mantra VAM three times together. Vam. Vam. hands to the heart center make it ready 
this area here and if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to my channel and yeah, comment or like this video or both and this really helps I'd love to hear how this was for you how this felt this year I brought up some emotions you know um, so yeah lots of love